What's going on, tech fans? It's 2017, and we're back here on Tech of Tomorrow. I'm Eric, your host, and CES is on, and there is a lot of crazy stuff going on there. Now, even though I wasn't actually able to go there because I have a cut in my foot, my homie John from TLD, he has got me some footage, so this is gonna be pretty awesome. So let's start off by showing you some of the latest products by Acer, which are actually pretty incredible. In fact, they have like, you know, this seriously affordable laptop. It's just, you know, slightly under 10K. Ah! Nah, but this is the Acer X21 Predator. It's the world's first curved screen monitor. That's right, man, a curved screen monitor. Let's check this bad boy out because it's incredible. Starting off, it has a 21 inch screen. Now the caveat of this though, is that it only has a 2560 by 1080 resolution. Now obviously you get 120 Hertz refresh rate, you get SLI from the built-in two 1080 cards, and these 1080 cards are no longer mobile versions. These are full-fledged 1080s with all the goodness coming to you in SLI. So what the hell? This monitor should at least have 1440 or 4K, but nope, it's only 1080. But the design is incredible. It has a mechanical keyboard. Every individual key is RGB lit, which is really amazing. The keypad also doubles as a trackpad. All you do is remove it and turn it upside down and replace it, and you can use it as two different things. Now, this also has G-Sync technology, which means that all of your games are gonna be running at 120 hertz, and it's going to be crystal clear. So that's gonna be pretty crazy stuff. For you gamers out there who love NVIDIA and are drawing the absolute craziest best, this is gonna be what it is, although it's crazy priced. There are five internal system fans, nine heat pipes, four speakers, two subwoofers, and fucking crazy, it has two power supplies. That's right, this dang thing takes two power supplies, which means you gotta find two wall outlets to power this bad boy. I don't think you're gonna be using any portable power here. Now, obviously, something of this caliber is going to weigh quite a bit, and this thing comes into the market at just under 20 pounds. The power behind the Predator is Intel's 7th generation Core i7-7820HK processor. There's 64 gigabytes of DDR4 2400 memory, and you can put up to four 512 gigabyte solid state drives in RAID 0 inside this system, and an additional drive as well. That's totally crazy. And I don't know if any of you folks ever got to see this before, but Toby eye tracking is really incredible stuff. We got to experiment with it a lot in the last couple of CESs, and the technology behind it was just really cool. For people who have disabilities and stuff like that, this is gonna take this laptop over the top because now it can be used by regular folks as well as disabled folks, and that's just badass. The Acer Predator X21 really reads like a gamer's dream book. The 2560 by 1080 resolution, uh, I feel that for 10K you should get better than that, but with all those options and the very fact, I mean, I don't know if it's a mistake or not, but you can only use up to 512 gigabyte SSD drives, why not one terabyte drives or even some of the bigger ones? So I'm kind of like a little bit on the fence about those things. But beyond that, you guys can see the world's first curved screen, features just up the yin yang. If you've got the cash and you want the absolute best, well, pff, this is it. But how about if you've only got about 1200 bucks? Let's check out the Acer Aspire 5. Now this is the updated version and it's got some pretty cool features, but it's a lot smaller and a lot cheaper. The Nitro is ideal for graphics heavy content creation, editing, or gaming. Now, depending on the model you get, it'll either include an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060 or a 1050 Ti. Both those are good cards. You can also get a seventh generation Intel Core i processor and up to 16 gigabytes of DDR4 memory. But what I gotta say to you guys, this is really funny. You can get a 3840 by 2160 4K model in the smaller one. So you buy 10K, you get 1080, but if you buy for 1200 bucks, you get 4K. Uh, let's check out their latest monitor. Last year, we saw a lot of Acer Predator monitors. Now we're gonna check out the Z301 CT. Now the Acer Predator Z301 CT, it's an ultra wide gaming monitor. Now Acer claims that the Acer Predator Z301 CT display is the pinnacle of gaming immersion. And they have evidence to back this up because they won the CES 2017 Best of Innovations Award in the Computer Peripherals category. The specs in the Z301, however, are really nice. You get a pixel resolution of 2560 by 1080, 
a 21 to 9 aspect ratio, an 1800R curved screen, 200 hertz refresh rate with NVIDIA G-Sync technology, Toby eye tracking, and a four millisecond response time. You also get an ergonomic tilt and height adjustment up to 4.7 inches, and it also has two three watt speakers all built in, so you don't have to do anything else to get up and go. All right, folks, so there you have it. Our first video of the coverage of CES 2017 featuring the latest products from Acer. I gotta say, that monitor in 10K, it looks pretty incredible. I ain't got the cash. The Z301, that is going to be a really nice monitor. I can't wait to get my hands on that and have it right here in my house to test and play with. I think you guys are gonna be waiting for that as well. And that notebook at $1,200, the fact that you can get that in 4K, but you can't get the $10,000 one in 4K, it's just not computing with me. I'm Elric, you guys have been watching Tech of Tomorrow. We've got more information down below, so if you guys want to get even more information about these products, you can check that out down there. We're gonna be having CES coverage for the next few days, so stick around and we'll bring you more stuff from this year's CES.